go eat it. I know it looks like brains, but that is not brains. That giant sheep's up. All right, you, you go catch some sheep. So I'm going to see if there's some flounder up here real quick. Where's flounder? I'm going to see if there's some up here in the shallows. See what happens. All right, we've got this bull minnow rigged up. And we are going to just drop this right next to the pylons here to start with. All right, let's get way up under here, see if there's any flounder hiding up in here. James has already caught sheep's head, so I may not be doing a whole lot of flounder fishing today. Is he telling people that sheepy costs 20 pounds? He's so full of it. You telling people you're catching 20 pound sheep? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. I'll go catch a couple sheep, then I'll go back for flounder. The sheep are on fire right now over there. James is hooked up again, so time to switch it up. All right, for the sheep, we're going with the seven foot ninja tackle dagger. We got 20 pound true braid. We got the pin battle three, 4,000. We got the go Mexis knob on there. 14 pound mono, frisky fin sheep's head jig with the feather on there. Let's see if we can land a sheep. There we go. There we go. Get out of there. Door's not in all of you. Get out of there. Oh. Gosh oh. dang. That's a solid one. Good night. Good lord. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get that drop down there. Cooper. Jordan's a monster. Good. Good. Lift it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, there's <laughs> Dude, <laughs> That's a that is the biggest sheep oh, I've ever caught. One. That one's mine. That is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Holy that smokes, is stunt, dude. Man. You might have to weigh that. Whoo. Holy cow. Man. And then there's. Dude, that is nice. Oh. And then there's Sean's. Hey. Man. That. <laughs> It's a slob. I had a mail earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get. I don't have cool. pliers. Did you bring pliers? I got some. Okay. On my head. okay. The, I got one on the top of the car. All right. Jack's just trying to get you to touch. Yeah, the yeah. Head. Jack's like, yeah, it's right here on my hip. Come get him. It's in my, it's in my pocket. Oh. My hands are full though. You have to get it. <laughs> Damn. That's a freaking. That's like a nine pounder. Yeah, I know. It's a tank. You might have to go try to weigh that. Yeah. That's a good one. Take There we go. All right. Right Toss his pliers over there so we don't knock those That's in the water. Good, All right, didn't it take me an hour and a half to catch a sheep's head today, and that thing is thick. That is a stud. I am pumped to land this dude. Let's see if I can get a couple more, then I'll switch over to flounder. Hey, hold that up for me, man. Look at that. That's freaking. Look at that. Did you did you measure him yet? No, I don't have anything to weigh it with. Oh, here I've got a. I've got a thing here. I can get a rough, I mean, I can't, that thing's in the oh, way yeah, there, but yeah. Probably. Yeah. Man. Excellent. I like your purse. It's a machilla, sir. That's a pretty sweet purse you got there. It's called a machilla. Yeah, it's called a man purse. <laughs> Say it loud. Say it. We're getting ready to eat something gross. Daddy. <laughs> That's right. And y'all can thank Matt Poole from Ninja Tackle for this. He's the one that talked me into doing it. It's something I've not done for years, but Lucy, are you going to be brave and do it with me? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll show you what we're getting ready to eat. All right. Here is the disgusting thing me and Lucy are going to try to eat. And here it is. I'm not going to eat it. I know it looks like brains. But that is not brains. That giant sheep's head I caught yesterday, when I'm making this video, it was yesterday. It had a pound of eggs in it. So we're gonna fry up some fish eggs and see how they taste. Okay, we are gonna take these delicious eggs right here and we're gonna bring them right over here. We're gonna throw them in this batter. We're gonna get that thrown in some hot oil. And hopefully, I'll be able to keep it down and I won't throw up on film. Let's go see what happens. All right, here we go. This is all breaded up. Oil ought to be hot. Let me fill in every little crack with some bread, <laughs> with some bread in there. And we're gonna drop this bad boy down in the oil. No! 
All right. We'll, we'll let that go for a while and see what happens here. All right, here is the fish eggs, and this looks like some type of weird organ out of a fish. But we're gonna be brave. We're gonna give it a shot. Pray for me that it's good. All right, Lucy, you got two choices here, okay? Number one, you can eat this delicious sack of fish eggs, or you can eat some of these fish candies. Which one do you want? Fish candies? <laughs> I've got to eat this by myself. <laughs> oh man. Because I really have a toilet. She probably has the better choice, but. All right, I mean, this can't be good for my cholesterol. This is a lot of eggs, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a bite here. I'm just gonna take a spoonful, give it a chop. I love this. Oh man, it's still hot. I love oh, it. That texture looks terrible. Wait. You look like nah, I'm, I'm not gonna eat that and then try to eat this. The the smell's not bad. Hopefully the the taste is good. It it looks like it's gonna have a kind of a creamy texture to it, but here goes nothing. Oh, all oh, of them gone. To be honest, there's hardly any flavor at all. It has a slight brackish flavor if that makes sense mm. and only you it's not really salty there's, no, there's really, really no salt flavor to it okay. yeah, let's go to your room wait mm. no i like it though <laughs> not a big fan but i tried it i can say i tried it i'm sure there's a much better way to cook it and that is a massive, I mean, that's a half pound of fish eggs right there. It's probably way too, way too thick to cook this way, but I gave it a shot. I give it a go. I will not be doing this again, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So until next time, I'll see you later.